Leo. Um, I'm uh, Juju with Lunalogic Tarot. This is your birthday season reading for August of 2024 and beyond during your birthday season. So happy birthday, many blessings to you during your solar return and during your birthday season. Um, also throughout the year, obviously, and for many more years to come. So you could have Leo and your sun, moon, rising, Venus are um, placements. Please, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. Obviously, uh, roles can be reversed, okay? Um, if you would like to get a, a private reading with me, my email is below. Don't forget to check out my Patreon channel as well. The link to that is also below. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe, obviously. And then also, too, I'm going to, um, we're going to get some Oracle messages first. We will also maybe look at your money, too. We will look at, you know, general messages, and then we will also do um, any tea that you might need to know, and then uh, you versus all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with, but not limited to, but um, also we will get um, guidance, okay? All right, let's see. What is going on, please, for Leo during their birthday season, beginning, middle, and end of their season, please, for my Leos? Birthday season, August 2024 and beyond. Obviously, this can extend past that. But let's just see. Birthday season, beginning, middle, and end. Bottom, okay, we got dragon. It says strength and wisdom right out the gate. I mean, that's kind of like, you know, I mean, it's not a Leo. It's not a lion, but it's kind of like Leo energy. Because of strength and wisdom, right? So you're coming into your birthday season very, very strong. Okay. What about the middle of your season? Also, I did a spill the tea reading on my ride or die cruise here over on Patreon too. Sorry, I haven't been able to go live again this week. I do have everything written down for what we're going to do next week for lives. Um, I've just been very tired. Okay. So the middle of your birthday season, you have love, true love and fidelity. Okay. Money. This could be somebody that you could be meeting somebody new during your birthday season. If you're single, if you are in a current relationship, um, if it's you know obviously not an abusive relationship, but um, it looks like that relationship is going pretty well, and the love is and the fidelity, longevity, commitment, and loyalty seems to be deepening. What about the end of your birthday season? What's happening with that? Okay, but we have seduction, passion, and romance await. Okay. Could be the same thing, like a new person's coming into your life. Um, you're, you know, if you're single, you're meeting somebody new. If you're not single, then this relationship that you're currently in Seems to be very passionate and romantic. There's some seduction too. Or if you're female Leo, this is you. By the end of your season, you feel loved up. You're glowing. You're looking good. Smelling good. You got like that. You well, I mean, come on. You're Leo, right? If you're a masculine Leo, you're meeting someone who is just as seductive as you. Or this is your person and they're having a glow up. Okay. What about strength and wisdom? The king, authority and diplomacy. There you are, masculine, Leo, gang, gang. <laughs> very strong. You're coming in very strong, like very, I'm sorry, I have something in my eye. I'm so sorry. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, I've been doing a bunch of laundry <laughs> today. Okay, so if you're a masculine, Leo, you are coming in very diplomatic, very, like, powerful. If you are a feminine, Leo, however you identify right preferences orientation is, is the energy you're coming in very regardless masculine from you're coming in very it's like you're coming in like a lion which you are and you're also leaving out of your birthday season thus far as still a lion but more seductive how do i say that okay this could also be all about self-love and self-care what's true love true love and fidelity you got the raven though darkness looms on the horizon why? 
Okay. What's this about? Hold on. What's the seduction about? What? This is bullcrap. Okay. I mean, the messages are the mess. Again, take what resonates. It could be you. It could be somebody you know. Person, place, thing. People in your life. Romantic partners. Current or new. It could also be, you know, um, family members. It could be anything, right? This could be just something that you were talking to about somebody. What's that seduction about? The golem. A close friend acts on your behalf. With the raven here, okay. Give me one more on the strengthening the king. The dragon. Okay. The queen. Okay, love and prosperity. So there's a very strong connection for you and somebody else. Whether you're this queen or this king. Does not matter. Right? But something is going to happen between beginning of your birthday season. You're coming in very strong, very powerful. There's love and prosperity here. There's authority and diplomacy and fairness. Y'all are equally yoked if you're, you are currently in a relationship. Um, but something happens in the middle of your season. So I guess that would be about the middle, I guess roughly around like the second week, I guess, of August. That puts like a, because there's true love, right? And fidelity, loyalty. But there's something that happens in the middle of your birthday season that kind of puts darkness loops on, puts a dark cloud over it. Why? Almost like dread or like, or someone's like trying to get into somebody's head here in the guise of friendship or family. Or business partner? What is that about? The siren. See, a temptation may lead you astray. You or somebody else here may, which is water energy, may be led astray in the middle of the month, away from true love and fidelity. Because these two are very, a power couple. They are a true pair. On your side or your person's side, whomever I'm reading for, somebody here does get led astray. In the middle of the month and that's why there's darkness on the horizon because it goes from being a true pair working well together um, things working out very strong bond to and true love and faithfulness commitment and loyalty fidelity longevity all those things and then to darkness because of a temptation so Leo or cross watcher you might want to be careful for the month uh, during well I would say August but it could be during your birthday season or it could even like extend past that to be careful of anything or anyone any form of temptation um the siren uh okay that may try to break the two of you up and there's a the seduction passion and romance lie await um uh, i mean excuse me passion and romance with a seduction uh await and then you have the golem a close friend acts on your behalf or your person's ha uh, behalf what is that seduction about in the golem? The Sphinx, choose your words carefully. You have somebody here at the end of your season here, Leo, or cross watcher dealing with Leo, who is trying to, there's secrets here. There's, but there, there's somebody here who's gonna pose as a friend but really is trying to get with either you, Leo, or your person. Choose your words carefully. And they're going to be very careful with what they say. Or you could be, or your person could be, or whomever this seductress siren person is. In order to be careful, Leo, or Crosswatcher, of anybody who would come in between the, between the two of you. Because they're going to try to break the two of you up. This could be a, you know, a romantic partner or, you know, or somebody who has a crush on you or, or your person or somebody here who wants to break two people up for the sake of being able to do it. If that makes any sense. Like, 
Um, the energies I have right now are Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Obviously, I have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Show me this Siren. Also, I have a little bit of Air. Oh, I guess I have all signs here. All, all the elements. Show me, um, tell me, okay. We have the Caduceus for the Temptation, or the Siren. Um, for the Temptation, you will receive news from afar, and then the winds of change. Your surroundings will undergo a transition. There is somebody here who is trying, they could be at a, they're trying to tempt you or your person. They could be at a distance from you. Who is trying, there's communication, who's trying to come in and stir a shit pot, basically. They're trying to break you and somebody up. Or tempt you out of a relationship because they think that they can. Or your person. Why is the seduction, the golem and snakes here? Give me one more. I'm going to pull tarot on this here in a second. This can also talk about travel. It says caduceus. I mean, I'm sorry. The chalice. Rejuvenation, fulfillment. A cup. And then the mystic circle. Your abilities will be enhanced. So somebody here might be trying to use um, energy manipulation, magic, um, love ma love spells maybe even. Or be careful too of drinking a lot or cross or drinking a lot, not, not with your person. Uh, just in general here because there's something that's going to happen. Or this has already happened and this is what's going to be revealed. Show me... Show me the queen. Well, first show me the dragon. Hold on, let me make more space real quick. Show me this dragon, the strength and, and wisdom. So, again, like I said, going into your season, very strong between you and another person. Very strong. Show me the dragon. Yeah, very strong, very truthful, very clear and discerning. Um, very strategic as well, but very discerning here. That's uh, King of Swords, Aquarius energy. Very honest. Show me the king. Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. What's fair is fair, right? Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra. Show me this queen. Three of Wands in the reverse. This is somebody who um, they didn't expect something. Or they don't see something coming. This queen energy could be you, could be your person. I don't know what your preferences are. Gender, gender identity, preference, orientation. This is also somebody who might be a little impatient as well, okay. Or maybe maybe there's something that happened on a trip that's about to come about that will be revealed during your, during your birthday season. Um, this queen maybe wasn't the one who traveled. Okay, what's that um, love, true love and fidelity? Seven of swords in the reverse. So there's confessions or there is honesty here. Okay, it's like Libra energy. What is this? Um, I'm telling you, something's going to be revealed in, during your birthday season about love. Either to you or about you. Or about your person. What is this confession about? It's something that happened at a trip that maybe a feminine energy did not go to. So one person, a masculine energy might have went on a trip for work or a guy's trip or something, right? But the feminine did not go. Something might have happened there. There's a, but like I said, it looks like it starts off really, really strong. Okay, what's that? Seven of Swords. Yeah, it was for work, a confession about a work trip. Eight of Pentacles. Also, that could be, you know, Virgo energy. What's this raven about? Someone is really, really worried about this coming out. To, yeah, because that will cause the end of a connection. Whatever's going to, it will cause an ending, a breakup. Maybe if there's a marriage, they could cause a divorce. Tell me more about that. That's Cancer Energy. We got Virgo, Libra, the devil in the upright. Somebody, somebody didn't tame their lust or their temptation. On a, work on a work trip. Or this could be some type of spiritual energy as well. That's trying to break two people up. And coming in the form of temptation or other people. Let's see. A temptation may lead you astray. You or your person. This is what's going to be revealed. 
Um, so this could have already have happened. What is that? Yeah, Page of Wands, news about that, communication, Aries energy, news about that. Something about communication, someone also could be saying that they're talking to somebody for work or work purposes, but it's more than that. Someone is tempted to tell somebody the truth, yeah, to, but they're undecisive if, what, if they're going to do that. Uh, Virgo Capricorn here, about some form of temptation. There's dishonesty here. That's the dark cloud. Is is the temptation that's more than likely already happened, because we have the confession here. And it has something to do with work. News again, like the page of wands, Caduceus. You will receive news from afar. That literally the winds of change. Your surroundings will undergo a transition that will change everything. Or your person will. No, this could be somebody you know, right? Let's see, what is that news? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's not good. It's not necessarily good news. Mm -mm. No. A misfortune. Karma comes in. Okay, winds of change. Yep, Eight of Cups in the reverse. Uh, somebody is coming back into town. Um, maybe somebody moved away. There it feels like there was a third party here or some form of temptation. Um, somebody maybe was traveling for work to visit somebody while they're traveling for just work, right? And Or somebody here is getting the news that somebody is coming back to live in town so they can no longer see each other anymore. There's something like that. Tell me more about that. Yeah, Three of Swords in the Upright. Betrayal. Mm -hmm. So, basically, before I pull anything else in the other cards, and I'm going to pull, look at this one. Well, I'm going to look at the other ones, too. So, basically, what I'm seeing here is that beginning of the birthday season, you and your person, or whomever this is, is really strong, really loyal, really, really strong. However, something has happened that while this feminine energy was not able to go on a trip, a, a work trip, right? This is when somebody was out of town. Um, this feminine wasn't able to go, obviously, right? The masculine went on this trip, and there's something that is going to come out about that beginning, or the, excuse me, the middle of the birthday season here. I'm just going to say August because it's just easier for me to say August. Something's coming out in the middle of August about a work trip that might have been taken at the beginning of the month or the end of July. That somebody here doesn't see coming. It's a bit of a shock. And the reason why is because it's a temptation. Somebody here wants to talk about somebody not making a decision between you and somebody else or somebody wants to you know talk to you but you're not making a decision about your person the main person or, and somebody else someone's very tempted to, to to do this but there's a there's gonna be a confession about a temptation that was at a distance Ooh, Lord, okay and it is not necessarily good news somebody is moving back into town is what I heard yeah someone's moving back into town and because of that whomever's been doing this uh, is found out there's betrayal there could also be a separation because of it because somebody here was you know falling for the hokey doke that's that's the dread that's that's the anxiety that's the darkness over a relationship is that somebody here fell for the hokey doke somebody here fell for temptation and it's been going on for quite some time anywhere from six to eight months or something like that and I feel like it's a, it could be a feminine who's doing it, but I get more so it might be a masculine who's doing it. And the person or the feminine energy is moving back into town or their person's moving back into town. They could also be in a relationship and or marriage and their person's moving back into town or they are. Now, there's a lot of, by the end of August, I guess, a lot of seduction here. But... Everybody wants to think that it's just a friendship or work colleagues, but there is a work affair going on here in some form or fashion. 
And somebody here is really, again, trying to choose their words very carefully as to not one to keep it going maybe or or to, um, as someone's very careful about what they're saying right now or they will be at the end of the end of the month. Okay, what's this passion? At the end of the month of August, okay. Yeah, see, five of swords, passionate arguments and fights. Somebody here just wants to win. There is a third party here, whether they are in a relationship or not, who wants to win the masculine energy at all cost. So they're going to use seduction. They're going to use temptation even more. They're going to be very selective of their words. They may may even try to get somebody to go out to have a drink with them. That's Aquarius energy there. Yeah, higher friend. They're married. The seductress here, the temptation, the siren, and the seductress is also married. There's going to be massive con. Somebody here, there's going to be big blowout arguments with somebody who's married because they're miss somebody in the marriage is missing with a woman who is married as well. And either they're moving into town or their person is moved, their husband is moving back into town. And someone's saying, well, that's just my friend. And the, okay, well, then why are you talking to your friend about things that have nothing to do with work? Or we just work together. Okay, then why are you talking to your work colleague about our relationship? At very least, this is a work, an emotional affair. At the very least, at the very max, this is an illicit affair that's been going on for any, I heard anywhere from six to eight months, if not a little bit longer. Ooh -wee. We got Taurus there and Aquarius. Massive conflicts. Bad, okay. What's this? Um, choose your words carefully. There could be a separation here. Mm -hmm. Someone's lying. So somebody or the two people here who are having an affair, emotional or physical, because nine times out of ten, emotional affairs do turn physical in some form or fashion. Someone here is going to choose their words very, very clear, carefully because the big lie, they're lying. Mm -hmm. Big time. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius there. Wow, okay. Ace of Swords, yeah, Hermit in the reverse. Someone is also lying about where they're going, who they're with. Um, you know, they, if they say that they're alone, that would be like the hermit in the upright, Virgo energy. They're, that's a lie. They're actually with someone. Or somebody saying, oh, I'm out with so-and-so. Um, I'm out with, um, I don't know, a friend or a brother or whatever, but they're really not. Yep, the emperor here. It's a, mm-hmm. Tor, uh, Aries, Taurus, Leo. It's a masculine. The king that we had at the very beginning, this is also that same type of energy. They are not either alone or they are not with the person that they said that they are with. They're actually somewhere completely different. So, and they're lying about it. They're choosing their words very, very carefully at the end of this month to keep it quiet. They're lying about relationships. Uh, the chalice. There's going to be massive conflicts over this at the end of the month of August. Mm, because of betrayal. Show me the chalice. Yeah, five of pentacles in the reverse. Taurus energy. Somebody here doesn't, doesn't know how to say no to temptation. Mm-mm. And this could be somebody that is pretending to be with this person, acting on their behalf, but really they're they're not. They're not really with that person. Show me the five of pentacles reverse. Yep, five of wands in the upright. Whomever this is happening to, so there could be two other parties. Now this could just be somebody who's single too, coming back into town. But I, I kind of don't feel that way, but it could be. The person... When this is revealed, because it's going to come out, somebody's going to be like, so, uh, the, an argument's going to be revisited. Something's going to come out about this, about this new love offer, the child's here. It's going to cause a massive conflict. We've got Leo energy with the five of wands here. It doesn't have to be you. It could be another Leo. Mm. 
drama. Yeah, because somebody knew. Eight of Swords in reverse. Aquarius energy. This is when you know something, but you can't prove it. This, you know what I'm saying? But this is when you know something, and then it gets confirmed and proven. Yeah, someone's no longer going to be stuck in their head about that because they have the evidence to prove what's really been going on behind their back. Show me the golem a, a close friend acts on your behalf. Someone might be trying to cover for you or cover for somebody here. Show me that. Yeah, five of cups. We got three fives. Five of pentacles, five of wands, and five of cups here. There is going to be a scorpionic energy. There is going to be someone who has been trying to keep this hush hush that's going to end up regretting it. For covering up. For, um, you know, a friend or, you know, family member, their affair to help them cover it up. You know what I mean? Oh, deep regret. There's going to be a lot of regret here. Also, someone's going to regret lying that, oh, we're, yeah, we're just friends or, oh, we're just friends because you got to justify it then or we're just work colleagues then. It's a lot more than that. Tell me one more about that Mm-hmm. Nine of Swords in reverse. Someone who has been covering for another person or someone who has been lying, saying it's just a work colleague or it's just a friend, is going to be, like, over, like, flooded with regret and sleepless nights and mental torment because they know what they've done or they know what they're doing. From the top, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Family. There's a family member here who is going to end up regretting covering for another family member who's having an illicit affair or, yeah, like an illicit affair. Because they're going to be seen just as guilty. Or this could be a whole bunch of family members here who have been covering up for one person in a family dynamic who's having, who might, who's probably married, who's having an affair with another married person. Married woman is what I got. The mystic circle. Uh, you're, now, this could be, I don't know where you fit into this, Leo, or Crosswatcher, so take it as it resonates. The mystic, cir it's a mystic circle, your abilities will be enhanced. So somebody here, this could be the queen energy, there, before maybe they weren't looking ahead, maybe their, their foresight was maybe blocked, because they could have been, you know, being lied to, right? Their gifts and abilities, their psychic intuition is going to be heightened show me that what's this mystic circle about real quick let me get another work on that it could be the other message i said too but i get more so it's like the green man the forces of nature favor you so somebody here has the their gifts are being enhanced their spiritual gifts their psychic gifts their magical gifts are being enhanced and supported by the forces of nature or their gifts are like a force of nature. I don't know. You, this I feel like it's that the queen's energy. The the that had love and prosperity here. Yeah. The or see the oracle seek wisdom and guidance from elders. They're very intuitive, very psychic, and their gifts are being en enhanced because the dagger, danger, and conflict lie in wait. They know something is wrong. And this is the end of the month. At the bottom of the deck, we got the seer too. They know, they predicted this. They could be very psychic or very intuitive. They know or knew, felt like this was coming. And this is, uh, the end of August is where they, they actually uh, get the evidence of it. And it, it is confirmed. But the seer says follow your intuition. So whoever this queen is, it could be you or it could be your person. I don't know. Okay. They're going to know. They're, they're, they're going to know. Show me the mystic circle. Yeah, look, the king of wands reverse. That is your card, Leo. One of your cards, anyways. Could be, Le could be you, Leo, right? Another Leo. Aries or Sagittarius. Fact that's a king in reverse could also be a feminine who's in their masculine energy or somebody here knows that there is a masculine here who is not honest who is not being honest who's lying 
a lot of masculine energy here. Show me that King of Wands reverse. Yep, man having an affair. Lovers reverse Gemini energy. Mm -hmm. Show me, someone knows, like their intuition is going to be confirmed. Someone's intuition could be yours, could be a person's. Someone's intuition is 100% correct. Show me the green man. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles here. Why, somebody here is going to know why somebody here was slow to open up. Why somebody here was slow to do anything or to why nothing, uh, if y'all got on the same page, something was taking forever to get corrected. Or something was taking forever to, you know, solidify the relationship or to get on the same page with somebody. The truth is going to be coming out. It's been slowly coming out, very slowly, but it's about to be rich. Show me the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, the tower. Is, oh, yeah. the tower. Mm -hmm. So it goes from being very slow about the truth, and then boom, Aries Scorpio there with the tower is, is, is all of a sudden the truth is known. What's the oracle about? Ten of Swords. Betrayal. One too many times. It's, it's going to come to an end. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Gemini energy. Yeah, Page of Cups. Someone's intuition is on fire in the month of August. And at the end of the month, somebody is going to realize someone has been sleeping with somebody's friend at a distance and or. This can I even talk about a pregnancy. Cancer price is there. Someone's going to have to be forced to choose. Do you choose a wife? Not doesn't have to be you, but just what I'm saying. You, do you choose the wife, the main person, or do you choose the married uh, mistress? Mm -hmm. or whatever yeah two of wands in reverse someone has to make a choice aries energy mm -hmm. what's the what's the the dagger da a conflict and danger lie in wait nine of wands somebody needs to protect themselves from there it could be cause of fight so if, if someone here is missing with a married woman and they themselves are married the husband is finding out they could also be coming back into town um yeah somebody understands why they've been so there's been a lot of conflicts because somebody's been very very guarded and someone here is about to and their intuition was correct whomever i'm reading for right now whomever is one of the people who could be this queen over here like i said earlier in the very beginning of august right maybe their intuition wasn't they weren't seeing something clearly right about a trip or trips allegedly for work or a guy vacation or whatever they didn't see something but they felt something and this is where and then throughout the course of the month of august by the end of the month, this is where somebody here knows that, yeah, somebody, the reason why somebody doesn't want, or somebody saying, well, I don't want to do this, and I don't want to do that because we're just going to fight or whatever, or I don't want to come home because whatever, whatever, we're going to fight. It's not because of that. It's because of the secret. Nine of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Yeah, see what they've been holding back. Somebody that 100%, one has been moving money and hiding money. Two, and keeping secrets. Capricorn Virgo. Yep, keeping an illusion, keeping a secret, keeping their options open. And keeping, um, holding back a lot to not accidentally reveal the truth about the situation. But somebody here, you got Seven of Cups, Scorpio Energy. Somebody here can see right through that shit. 100%. They know. And this is the month, whomever I'm reading for, this could be you, could be another person. This, whoever this queen is, they're also a seer. They're also very magical. They're going to see that's where the truth comes out. Either somebody here gets caught with somebody in the workplace or there's a confession about it as well. And I feel like there's a husband here who's very, very pissed. There could be another husband of this queen, which is the king, right? Who is actually their partner. Their husband is having an affair with a married woman. The husband comes back into town. Somebody gets caught, whatever. This, it's gonna, yeah. There's a big, big confession here. 
Show me the seven of cups. Someone's definitely been keeping the options open. Yep, nine of cups. Mm -hmm. Somebody here has been maybe dealing with a bartender, maybe, potentially. Someone was trying to keep their options open. They're very confused, creating some type of manipulation or confusion or fantasy or, again, manipulation because they're keeping the options open because they're getting what they want. They're having their cake and eat it, too. What's the seer saying? Follow your intuition. So this could be, you could be this queen or you could be the king or you could be this, you know, married mistress or the king that finds out. I don't know where you're at. Show me the seer. Strength card. That could be you. Or somebody can see right through you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nine of cups. Apologies. New love offers too. Okay. Either you can see right through somebody's bullshit or somebody that you're with can see right through your bullshit. Queen of Pentacles too. Someone has also made a love offer to a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And Cancer Pisces there. And someone can see right through somebody's bullshit. It is a woman. Someone's been holding back a lot of information. This woman can see right through somebody else's bullshit about another woman. Mm-hmm. Four of Swords in the upright. Someone's been sleeping with somebody on the side. And someone's intuition is telling them that this is exactly what's happening. Yep. Sleeping with somebody. Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could be doing another Leo who's doing this. I don't know. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles as well. An offer. Someone also could be paying for sex as well. Yep, and that's why things weren't getting on the right page. That's why somebody here didn't feel supported. Why somebody felt like no matter what they did, no matter what they tried, whatever effort they put in, it was not reciprocated and the person didn't um, put in the work. Could be in the workplace. Mm -hmm. When this, oh honey. Yep, the page of pentacles here. Someone was being breadcrumbed and the person who's being breadcrumbed is very intuitive, very psychic, they're very magical. They can see right through somebody's bullshit. Maybe they didn't want to believe it at first, but now they're starting to see it. Yep, Queen of Wands in reverse. There's another woman here, Aries Leo Sagittarius, who's very vindictive. There could be multiple third parties. Yep, the burden. Someone is just burdened because of this truth, and they know that they it, about it coming out. King and Queen of Wands, right? We have the King of Wands that came out in reverse. We have the Queen of Wands came out in reverse, right? Now, with the King of the Swords here that was in the upright at the beginning, someone might have started asking questions. Someone might have a private investigator actually watching someone while they go out of town while the feminine energy is left uh, at home. Someone is getting the truth here. And it is justice. The truth will be known. The, it, the truth will be known during your birthday season. Now you could be, <laughs> sorry it's your reading, but you could be either receiving this truth about your person, if you are this queen energy, or, and you're very magical and psychic and, and all the things, and your co intuition is 100% correct, right? You'd be receiving confirmation of that, or about you know you receiving that confirmation about your person or you are the person who is getting found out who's married missing with another married person and it looks like it's the masculine energy who's doing it so I don't know where you fit into this there you could be the third party you could be the person who finds out that their husband is sleeping with a married woman from work possibly but it's going to come out. And it, it is just. It is karma. and Because the truth needs to come out. Yeah, see. And people will be held accountable. Yeah. Libra and Pisces energy. Yeah, there's going to be the weight of the truth. It's going to be hard. And there's going to be accountability. Mm-hmm. This is massive change. That... Oh. Either you don't see, your person doesn't see, or whomever this, this third party doesn't see, and their person doesn't see. I mean, whomever's doing it. The people who are actually doing this, 
against their, their, you know, like if you are the feminine here, you're the wife and your husband is sleeping with a married woman, their husband and you, if you're the wife, are getting the truth. If, you know, you're the masculine here, you could be having an affair with a married woman, possibly at work. And her husband's finding out, and so is your wife. So I don't know where you fit into this. Okay, last message here. I gotta move on. Yeah, we got, see, the um, chimera says, uh, imagination clouds your judgment. Somebody, you know, was gaslighting another person, the a wife figure, and then there was a husband who's being gaslit too. Yeah, to see the key though, that's that's locked doors cannot be opened. Somebody here is definitely getting the truth about what's really going on here and how long it's been going on. It could be going on for like anywhere from six to eight weeks, six to eight months, up to a year. Quite some time. Spirit, unseen forces watches over you, or whomever whomever are the people the spouses who are being cheated on or betrayed, they're being watched over and protected. Yeah. Be meticulous and patient, the spider. So somebody here was, is somebody's literally getting caught up in their own web. The key, yeah, serendipity, bright new prospects are on the horizon. Somebody is realizing what's really, mm -hmm, spirit, water, emotions are at their peak. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, Ooh, someone's emotions going to be upset, honey. But, you know, this is the year of karma. So, I mean, if this is not, this could be somebody you know who's going through this. It has nothing, it doesn't even have to do with anything to do with your connection. You just happen to, maybe your support system. You know what I mean? There's going to be a separation because of some type of heartbreaking betrayal. And it could very well end a, or end marriages, work opportunities as well. Uh, business opportunities as well because people don't want to deal with somebody who will screw over you know not take their vows very serious right nobody wants to mess with somebody like that in business because if they don't take their vows serious then why the hell would they you know take a business contract serious you know what I mean that doesn't make sense okay I'm going to look a little bit more into this. Where's those cards? Hold on. Where was it? Hold on one second. Yeah. I want also look a little bit more into that. So, because somebody is falling for the hokey doke here and the temptation with the siren, uh, yeah. Hold on one second. Someone, uh, yeah, it's not gonna end. It's not gonna go very well. I say that right. It's not gonna. It's not gonna go very well. So whoever's doing this might, because I do see that there is some type of confession as well. Um, whomever's doing this, um, they need to go ahead and be honest now. Um, get told all of it because it's gonna come out regardless. Or you know, and it could. You don't get to control how it comes out. If the, the divine has to step in, karma, because we have the will of fortune in the reverse, right? We had imagination clause your judgment with the chimera, right? And then we have the justice in the upright with the um, hangman in the upright. Um, whomever is doing this, if they don't, these two people who are doing this, if they don't come clean now, like now, then the likelihood of this coming out in a very not so nice way, or possibly even very public, um, is very strong. Let me take a look at this real quick. Let's see, you got the siren. Let me take a look at that. We have this right here. Let's choose your words carefully. 
with the Ace of Swords reverse. Oh, hold on one second. I also want to take a look at the Seven of Swords reverse, the Siren, the Seduction, the the Sphinx, choose your words carefully, the Ace of Swords reverse, the Big Lie, and the Emperor. And the Emperor. Let me get a different deck, though. So, okay. Tell me more about this confession, please. Okay. Yeah, intuition. I told you, someone's intuition is on point. On point. Someone may be confessing, too, that they're, whomever has got this real strong intuition, telling them your intuition was correct, or is correct. Middle that, that was out in the middle of August, okay? So we're looking at the beginning towards the end of August. Show me the, tell me more about that. Confession, extremism. We got cancer, and we also have Scorpio. Someone's intuition was correct about somebody was acting way too extreme for it to be just an argument, right? Like if somebody was saying, well, it's because we always argue. Okay, well, the, the arguments got pretty freaking extreme. It's because somebody here was cheating. Mm-hmm. Someone's intuition is someone's intuition is extremely accurate. Extremely accurate. Tell me more. Yeah, an inspiration with the moon. Somebody's I'm telling you, Pisces energy, someone's intuition is really strong. Yeah, that they knew that their person was trying to be very strategic and had a decision to make. Maybe they didn't know exactly what that decision was, but they felt like their person was being very strategic and very selective about the things that they were saying and not saying. Mm -hmm. Someone needs to make a decision. Now, let's take a look at the siren. All this is beginning and of the month of August going into uh, the end of August. Tell me about the siren temptation may lead you astray. Manipulation, scorpionic energy here. Somebody here knew that they were being manipulated about a situation mm -hmm. and resistance. Somebody is very, the Scorpio Taurus energy, we got Cancer Pisces here. Someone is very um, resistant to somebody's manipulation because they know that there's something wrong, something else is going on. Bluff, yep, Gemini energy. Okay, somebody knew that somebody is, somebody here is 100% resisting the lies and manipulation of another person. Yeah, if you're screwing over Scorpio or Scorpio's getting screwed, oh, somebody here thought, really thinks that somebody here is not going to get revenge. Mm -mm. If you're fucking, I'm telling you right now. Okay. There's a Scorpio here, potentially, who is very resistant to anyone's manipulation, and they're very resistant to anyone's lies, and they're very resistant to any form of temptation. And they know that they're being lied to, and somebody here really believes that somebody is bluffing about revenge. I don't recommend anybody doing that. If you're doing a Scorpio, because you see there's two people here sleeping together. And, yeah, it's not like it. Okay, tell me more about that. Yep, fulfillment. Sagittarius energy. Somebody will will get revenge about this. 100%. Or somebody was having an affair because that was their mode of revenge for somebody making money. A wife making money. Okay. Or somebody could just be really trying to make somebody fucking jealous because the Scorpio don't need it. Alright, what's this... Okay. All right. Well, let's go. Show me the seduction, please. We got indecision, Libra energy. Somebody is very indecisive about who and what it is that they want because of this. Okay. Principle. They're indecisive because it goes against their principles or a commitment. Sagittarius energy as well. Someone's flirting with the idea and seduction and temptation of cheating while married. They're going against their, they're in, somebody here doesn't stand on principles here. There's a man who doesn't and a woman who doesn't regarding, um, a 
marriage. Somebody here is not committed. Mm -mm. Two, there's a woman who's married who's having an affair with a married man. Um, the man, the they're not, they have no conviction. Um, and they do not stand on the principles. We also have convention here about a house, Capricorn energy. Mm -mm. Someone was has been going to somebody's house behind other people's. Mm -hmm. They could also work in real estate, possibly. Yeah, authority, see? Capricorn energy. Somebody here wants power. The mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Yep, and independence. So somebody here is, they're going to, whomever is going to find out that their husband and or wife um, is cheating, the two people who are being cheated on, they're going to want their independence immediately. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, what's this choose your words carefully? That could be you or someone else, obviously, right? Speculation. Oh, yeah, it's just speculation. More cancer energy? That's not true. Speculation. Mm, I don't know. I think there's evidence. Yep, egotism. We also have Leo energy. Somebody is in their ego and thinking that, oh, no one will believe the wife or the husband about what's really going on. That's ego. Choose your words carefully. Somebody has got a nasty ego towards a spouse, a wife, and then because they're cheating. Because somebody here is getting their ego stroked elsewhere, that's why. Mm -hmm. And we have charity, more cancer energy. Someone is giving to a cancer. Mm -hmm. Behind, it could be a Leo doing that. What's this, that ego about? Criticism, Virgo energy. Somebody here criticizes a wife figure because they feel like they feel entitled to criticize somebody. Oh Lord. Because our ego gets triggered, because our ego has been so overly inflated because they're cheating. Mm -hmm. They're getting their ego stroked elsewhere, all right? Show me the Ace of Swords reverse, the big line. Gemini Libra Aquarius there. Also, this masculine lets other people in the family who are helping this person hide it possibly criticize their wife. And this, man, that's bad. That's nasty. Yeah, riches. Lying about money as well. Virgo energy. I'm sorry, Capricorn. Someone has been lying about money, where that money's been going, where, why, where that money came from. Yeah, originality, Aquarius energy. Someone's someone's saying it's coming from work or what they're doing with the money at work. They're not. They're lying. Isolation. Oh yeah, I'm I'm here at work alone. I'm at the office or the work site alone, or I'm at work right now alone. No, they're with a the third party who they probably work with. It's it's all, that's all a lie. Or I have to work late, or I have to do this, or. Whatever, it's it's a big lie. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, see, isolation and friendship. They're with somebody, could be a cancer. They're not alone. Oh, that's just my work friend, or that's just my work friend. If you gotta put just in front of it, whomever I'm reading for, whether it's a, just a friend or just a work colleague, they're trying. the person who's doing that or the people who are doing that are trying to downplay the actual connection and what's really going on to hide the affair, period. Yep, versatility, bending over backwards. Yep, see, people are, um, there's a, there is a work relationship, work affair that is illicit, right? And the person who is the married mistress is bending over backwards for this married man that they work together and they're having an affair. Now, I did have the emperor come out. This mistress, married mistress, Their husband comes home. Show me. That's what I got before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Quarrel. Cancer energy. They're very mad. And there's two men fighting. Possibly at a workplace, but it doesn't have to be. They get... I don't promote violence over here. Okay. Someone... So, yeah. See, restlessness. Somebody here is very... Aries energy. They're very angry. Because they realize that their wife is having an affair with a married, their, their wife is having an affair with a married man. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it's been a secret for quite some time. Scorpionic energy. 
Yep, Rebellion. Aquarius energy as well. Secret Rebellion. It's, gonna, it's like a clap back almost like here. I got like August 11th might be important to you. Someone could also be having an affair with somebody's friend or back or like ex-friend behind somebody's back. Okay. It's organization. They work together. I'm telling you, there was an argument or a fight. And I'm not promoting that. Either it already happened and all that information is about to come out. Or it's about to happen at the end of August. Because somebody here is being seen as a freaking liar in the workplace. Two people. Mm -hmm. There's going to be like a pushback at the job. Pushback at work. Something like that. Yeah, impulsiveness, Aries. Someone's coming in hot. to some. Mm -hmm, because they know the devil is a lie. Someone's been concentrating on the lies that they've been spinning. But, okay. They're talking about saying anything more about that. Mm -mm. Vision. Somebody can see the truth. Someone has very, Pisces energy. Somebody has very clear vision. Very, very strong psychic gifts. A masculine, a husband who's married to a wife who's having an affair with a, a married man and the wife of the mar the man who's having an affair with a married woman both of them are very psychic and it's inside it's coming out see look they know oh look i told you acquisition taurus energy and enterprise aries somebody here knows somebody here that there is a work some somebody's being seen there's a mask in here who is seeing somebody their wife right or there's a wife here seeing their husband having an affair with a married woman or a husband is seeing that their wife is having an affair with a married man. Like, someone's getting caught. They're supposed to be at work, right? These people work together. They're seeing, they're being caught out. Because we have acquisition, enterprise, and vision. Or, excuse me, vision. We had acquisition and enterprise. Mm-hmm. Someone's being seen. And someone's going to realize, oh, yeah. They're going to be confronted almost instantaneously. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yep. And then there's going to be detachment. Someone's going to be forced to leave a job. Mm-hmm. Yep. Someone's going to call it out. This talks about, like, whistleblower type energy. Could be even, like, publicly. Mm-hmm. We got, yep, what did I tell you? Publicly. Publicity. Leo energy. Gemini energy. And we got defense. Taurus energy. Someone will have to defend their reputation. But they can't really defend the reputation because they've ruined it oh boy okay let me close back mm -hmm. I'm going to take this back, and let's continue. Well, that's wild. Okay. Anything else that Leo needs to know? And then I'll move on to your money, and then we'll get some tea, okay? Anything else that Leo needs to know for the month of August, beginning, middle, end? we got mature woman. So that could be like a, a grandmother, an auntie, just an older woman. Could be, you know, a mother-in-law, mother figure, or... Uh, older just an older woman or this woman is very mature for her age if she's younger okay we have the middle of august the main female the end of august we got occupation and adjudication somebody here works in the courts somebody's a lawyer mm -hmm. possibly or someone will go take this to court if there's a marriage or marriages. There's going to be a divorce possibly. So, yep, we got mature woman in marriage. Mm -hmm. What's this main female about middle of August? There's two women here. High honor being blown up. And then also this false person. Somebody here who said that they had a lot of honor about their work or about their own relationship. Because I have two women here. This woman, this woman right here is married to the man who's having an affair, to the husband who's having an affair with a younger woman at work. Somebody, these, see, two people are liars. They have no honor. This woman who's younger than the mature woman has no honor. Yeah. Show me the occupation. 
imprisonment. Someone feels, oh, well, I'm stuck at work or I'm trapped at work or um, someone's being, I'm telling you, this is, this is why you don't shit what you eat, you know? Or you don't do it, you don't do this kind of stuff regardless, but it's like even worse. I mean, it's just worse across board, but it's even worse to do it at work. Adjudication, message of concern. Mm -hmm. Someone may get a call from, so this mature woman may get a call from their husband who got locked up because they got into a physical altercation, not promoting violence over here, but that's a potential with the husband of the woman that they are having an affair with. Mm-hmm. People are getting confronted. Or someone is being served divorce papers, possibly. Show me... Let's see. The mature woman with the marriage card also has a lover's card here, meaning that they know that there is another lover. That's... Mm -hmm. It's quintessential. A man starts having working at work somewhere, and they get with a younger woman. But this younger woman is also married. This younger woman could also be an attorney, mm -mm. or have something like that. Okay. See the main female, right? The younger woman with the high honor. We have the coffin. So somebody's honor is just destroyed. Um, both parties here with the false person. I'm hit, really false people here. Show me. Oh, yeah. Why? Because somebody here also lied about their health, their sexual health, maybe, or a pregnancy. Right. We also had to spare an official person. I'm telling you, somebody here loses a job, loses their reputation. They lose a lot. Mm -hmm. And they're, because of a fight that breaks out at work. I'm not promoting that, but it could happen, right? Also, this part, okay, this younger woman could actually make a false report to the police to try to get out of being caught in an affair. So maybe they tell their husband something happened to them that, you know, trigger warning that might have been against their will, but it might not, it wasn't. Someone's making a, I don't know why I'm getting that, but somebody here is making a false police report on somebody, okay? Woo, okay. Occupation and prison, that someone's gonna work very hard to get somebody locked up, pathway, so they can walk away scot-free, so they can still keep their marriage, and job, and reputation, but that's not an adjudication, mm -mm, gift. Mm -mm. Something about December could have happened, October, November, December of last year. Courthouse. Someone's an attorney and they're manipula trying to manipulate the law. Yeah, courtship. I'm telling you, somebody here was having an affair with a lawyer, period, period. Great fortune. Fate is stepping in to stop this person from doing that. But all will be revealed, period. Journey. I'm telling you, fate is about to show the people having an affair the truth of the matter. And that they are not above reproach at all. Mm. Yeah, look, courtship and journey traveling together. Yep. Something about a trip here happened. Uh, but it's also been going on for quite some time. Yeah, you'll say mature man. Uh, the older man having an affair. Yep, with the with the uh, main female unexpected income as well. Yeah. Someone also might be trying to pay some money, some, some type of hush money. But there is a there is a younger woman here who might try to make a false claim. Um, I say we usually. I want to say usually, but we need to believe our believe victims first, right, and then investigate after, right. However, she somebody here may do that. Or somebody here has lied. There might be a big argument and fight because somebody here lied about their sexual health. Yep. Stealing, cheating. Mm hmm. Child. Someone also could have lied about the father of a child. So this main female, this younger woman, could have gotten pregnant by this older man. And um, they're telling their husband that it's theirs and it's not. 
Mm -mm. This young woman who might be an attorney got in the way of a marriage while they're also being married. Ugh. Okay. They're going to try anything that they can. Also, somebody here could have um, gotten pregnant. Yeah, see, we have the emperor here. It says, look, this is the documents here. The lovers, yep. And then we have the four of pentacles in the upright. Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody is holding back a lot of information. Mm-hmm. Somebody also might have been required, if it was at work, to sign an NDA. That's going to be broken. Four of swords here. Yeah, someone's been sleep, holding back the information and sleeping with somebody else, sleeping on the truth. But it comes out. Justice will be served here. The truth will be will be known. Mm hmm And that is explosive tower. Someone gets really thrown out of a house. Mm hmm Queen of Cups. Somebody is very intuitive. Cancer, Pisces, maybe Scorpio here. Very intuitive. Yep. They know that somebody is cheating on them. We have Gem uh, the lovers here. Gemini, Five of Swords, Aquarius maybe. Somebody here definitely knows somebody's cheating on them and hiding money possibly. Yeah, Nine of Cups or giving money to a third party to keep quiet maybe even. Even if they still work together, right? We have the world. That's coming to a completion. Yeah, Hierophant. Justice and the Hierophant that talks about court and government. It's not, it's not legal counsel or legal advice, okay? Tower, Ten of Wands. It's going, someone's going to be kicked out of a fucking house immediately. And now this doesn't have anything to do with you. This could be somebody you know that's going through this right all right let me pull these back let me get um your money messages for i guess the month of august i mean i was trying to do your whole birthday season but we'll just do month of august since that's the bulk of your season money and then I'll get some tea and then we'll do your all signs portion. Let's see. Please spirit give me um what is going on with Leo's money? Okay. Beginning of August we got skull, rough patch, borrowing money, low in cash, care or career, hospice, healer, no work, reinvention. Uh, somebody's about to lose a hell of a lot of money because of this nonsense here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, someone needs to be mindful of their spending. We got tree middle of august we got financial support coming to fruition abundance career outdoor jobs family business and stability a family business could be coming to an end as well in the month of august because of all this mess then we got frame steady income organizing accomplishments career art and design home oriented and self-employed someone's gonna have to start over start a whole whole new business go to a whole new company because it feels like a family business is, is going yeah it's going to be shut down because somebody here was having an affair with a younger woman who's married while well, also being married in the workplace. The skull heart says emotional spending. Someone needs to stop emotionally spending. Uh, joint finances being supported, a career counselor guide, and having a job you love. Somebody here is going to have to find something that they really love to do um that not in the public is what i heard or has nothing to do with what they were doing before because they're getting a bad rap here show me that tree in the middle of the month we got light bulb lucrative ideas new income source inspiration career entrepreneur new job and creative work yeah I'm, but i feel like somebody here it i feel like a family business may be coming to an end though but or it's gonna be reinvented with um i feel like people are gonna step away from whomever's been doing this is bad for bad for business we got frame at the end of the month of august we got turtle Move, money moving slowly steady progress career moving for work in good time someone's gonna have to literally move states for work for the long term because they're like a laughing stock in the industry whatever that is or somebody is coming home ring talks about financial commitments long-term investments partnership work together fulfilling a career Someone, the people who got their money with gold, it, it comes back. Whomever's being portrayed like this, they end up getting a better contract or they get a better fulfilling job and money or this is you. Um, someone's going to realize that they should have prized their marriage 
over yeah spiral out of control climbing the ladder upward trend the person or the people who are being cheated on they may walk away from this connection or these connections and they end up like upgrading with gold and spiral like an upward trend like big time and that would be like the right move with chess right move so i'm not telling you what you should or shouldn't do but it looks like you know whomever this is for now this does not have to have anything to do with you this could be a friend this could be a family member or somebody you know that this is happening to so or you this could be happen, happening to you or you are doing this so keep that in mind okay so i have no idea who you are on this all right let's see let's look at some tea real quick so this could be tea about your person uh that you're dealing with person of interest um person on your mind or this could be tea about you or anybody, whomever, whomever this is. So this is the tea that you need to know. Hold on, let me get this one too. Let's see. What is this tea? No, I'm going to do one in reverse. Hold on. Show me the tea for August, beginning, middle, and end of the month for August, please. For Leo. Or this is the tea you get. <laughs> you know. Or you find out we have envy here. Envy. Now, jealousy is being jealous for what somebody has. Envy is being jealous of, of, of who somebody has, is what I understand. Somebody here is very envious at the beginning of August of a connection. Okay. And we got expecting new beginnings in the middle of August. Somebody is pregnant. Duh. Possibly. And at the end of August, knowing they fucked up. Some, mm-hmm. Some, mm-hmm. What is this about? Somebody has done mess around and found out and got somebody pregnant. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Envy. What's Envy about? Ghosted. Disappearing, ghosting, in and out. Somebody who got ghosted who might end up being pregnant or lying. Because we did have false either police reports or... Or false accusations um, someone could be claiming to be pregnant as well but somebody here is very envious because they're they're getting ghosted at the middle of the beginning of August disappearing ghosting in and out so give me one more on that yeah and talking shit because they got ghosted beginning of August okay and kissing ass Mm hmm what's talking shit about beginning of August we got karmic friends can't fully trust them tension secret competition keep your friends close your enemies closer and photo proof giving getting evidence somebody here's got evidence of somebody here being somebody could I'm telling you there's evidence here of this shit and people are, people are talking at the beginning of August from there's evidence of it there's proof of what's been going on okay What's expecting? You could also have somebody trying to come back into your life that was maybe a friend or they're now an ex-friend. Be careful letting this person in. Expecting and then, yeah, unbothered. Somebody here is going to be very unbothered by this or something like that. We got reflecting. Someone's unbothered by somebody taking some time to think about something. Yeah, boss daddy. See, look. False daddy, stable, rich, business owner, CEO, uh, big dick energy, whatever. Someone's unbothered by this person because they know they got, somebody's got somebody by the cojones, honey. Okay, reflecting. Someone's thinking about a way to like screw somebody's life up because they didn't get chosen or, yep, and they're creeping on this man who they've been having an affair with. Okay, and it also could just be a woman who's having an affair with a married man. Okay, who was single. Mm. and we got always partying there's a mask in here in the middle of august who's gonna be going out partying a lot and they end up getting somebody pregnant yep dirt creeping and dirt digging looking for dirt on you or vice versa yep somebody here you know see someone's gonna say well i know you've been sleeping with so-and-so and i know you got them pregnant or something like that it's <laughs> because they, somebody here's they're going to, have to be a confession show me knowing they fucked up at the end of the month of august yeah travel i told you Somebody here fucked up and has now found out because they might have gotten somebody pregnant at a distance, maybe, 
or they went on a trip with somebody from work or this was a work trip and somebody met up with somebody it could be a married person or it could just be a single person whatever but i was getting a strong marriage yeah bankrupt now and they know that they've done this and they've basically ruined their reputation their business all the things marriage included yeah because somebody here's fed up with this person it could be you fed up with this person yeah and too busy winning the person who's got who's fed up with this is going to move on and be like i'm too busy winning i don't have time for you to hear your apology yep they they're gonna feel like they dodged a bullet the person who's getting cheated on or the people who got cheated on they're gonna feel like they literally dodged a bullet with this person because like yeah no i'm good something to that effect let's see we uh yeah Okay, let me take this back and let me do your all signs portion. Wow. Okay. Now, let's see. So, Leo, show me Leo versus all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces in that order. Please show me Leo versus all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces in that order, please, Spirit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. So, yeah. Leo, if you're done with an Aries in the month of August... We got begging. They're begging begging you or they maybe feel like you're begging them. I don't know. What are we begging about? They're obsessed with you and they're begging for another chance. Or they, you are doing that. Okay, if you're dealing with a Taurus, they're texting you or they're texting somebody. Yeah, romantic text messages between you and a Taurus. Okay. And somebody's uncertain about who they want. You or somebody else or you are uncertain about who you want them or someone else. If you're dealing with a Gemini, it's a casual relationship between the two of you. Um, it's a misunderstanding. They, there's a Gemini here who thought that this was going to be more, but it, you just wanted something casual. And this Gemini is very hurt by it. Okay, if you're dealing with a Cancer, they're giving you false promises or they feel like you are giving them false promises in the month of August. And what are you doing? Like that, you know, hookup text or what you doing text, you know, and they're not interested anymore. Okay. Or they won't be, or there is a man who's intercepting, intercepting these text messages. If you don't know the Leo or this is you, or this is your situation, we got independent. Okay. And direct message. Okay. So some form of communication while somebody is alone. Yeah. Someone has a, a this could be you or another Leo. Somebody here has a very strong fear of commitment. They just want their like an excessive amount of independence yeah regarding a marriage one more to say yep there it is just friends because somebody has a fear of commitment because they're missing with somebody who is married just friends could be you leo or another leo or both and it's really more than friends it's more than just being just friends right mm-hmm if you don't want virgo they want to hook up with you or they have or you you want to hook up with them and they like the chase they like the hookup culture um you may end up blocking them or they may end up blocking you after the fact okay if you're doing libra there's an unplanned pregnancy with a libra um you feel like they're very picky as well or they feel this way about you and they're also very intimidated by you or you're very intimidated by a libra if you're dealing with a scorpio they're very anxious mind in the month of August. They feel blindsided by something or they're anxious about being blindsided or trusting you. Quick start. Because something doesn't feel right to this person. They feel very unappreciated by you or they make you feel this way. If you're done with Sagittarius, this was a mistake. Um, they're very controlling. And they're an F boy or F girl or they see you this way. Okay. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they are a third party or have a third party or you are that third party. That's just the talking phase at this point, but it's still, it's not just anything. It still is. 
right and good intentions they seem like they have good intentions but they are they're gonna make you a third party or you're gonna make them one if you're dealing with an Aquarius shock there's an Aquarius about to be shocked and running from love and clingy okay you want more and closed off so there's an Aquarius here who's about to shut down it may shock you you feel like maybe they're running from love you're trying to hold on to them but the but they're very closed off it's like one person is clingy one person is closed off dealing with, dealing with an Aquarius I feel like this is the Aquarius from that it's gonna shock you you may accuse this person of running from love I don't feel like they are you might want to try to hold on to them but they're gonna be very closed off to you in the month of August why why because they feel like they're in a situation ship or that you put them in one okay if you're dealing with a Pisces they want to apologize or or something like that to you or they want you to apologize to them but it's a fake apology you have a fake apology coming from a Pisces or you are given a fake apology to a Pisces fake true love mm-hmm and they're gonna flip their shit there's a Pisces who's gonna lose their shit on you because they feel like you played them um, and that or they think you're gonna do this yeah flirting they're they're pissed off because of flirting or something or they feel like you misled them one more on that yep manipulation head games are for children they feel they feel like somebody here feels like somebody's got really 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 bad intentions trauma bonding and one night stands you can feel this way about anybody or people feel that way about you or a mix right and that's what I got let's see who you could be dealing with and I gotta get the guidance I gotta go it's almost an hour and a half for you okay so keep your wits about yourself let me see if there's anything that let me just see something real quick if okay, let me see if there's anything let's do it one more round for all signs let's see what, what they would say so show me Leo what what would the people say all 12 signs for Leo versus all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces what would the other zodiac signs say to Leo if they could say anything obviously this could be something you could say to them if they could say anything what would they say thank you spirit and the divine let's go if you're done with an Aries what would they say to you overwhelmed the stress from this is draining me and they would say what shadow side you made me realize my flaws if you're done with a Taurus, what would they say to you? Soul contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. And uh, mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. That's what a Taurus will say to you. Or maybe that's what they want to say to you. Or you want to say to them. Obviously, take what resonates with the rest. Obviously, roles can reverse. If you're done with a Gemini, they run or I don't want to run anymore. That's what they want to say. And missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. Okay. Um, cancer, they want to say destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. And chemistry, I have never felt a passion this intense. That's what they would say to you. If you're dealing with another Leo, or this is you or your situation, we got dishonesty. By lying, I ripped us apart. And hope, I haven't given up on us yet. Okay. If you're dealing with a Virgo, we got sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. And ego I let my pride get in the way of our connection okay doing Libra they would say space I need more time to think and damage we are both hurting from this okay Scorpio they would say secrets I haven't told you everything or they feel that way about you like you you could be saying this to them and disagreements I wish you understood how I feel so this part if you're doing Scorpio they're not telling you how they feel anymore in the month of August because of disagreements because they feel like they may feel like you're going to invalidate them or dismiss them if you don't want to Sagittarius they would say reflection being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity and meant I want to fix our connection if you're dealing with a Capricorn they would say holding back I should have expressed myself better and they would say what the uh, confusion I feel unclear about where we stand if you're done with an Aquarius they would say what daydreaming I am always longing for you and time I'm afraid it's too late to take action Aquarius would say that and Pisces would say what um unappreciated I felt like you didn't care and 
reminiscing i miss our inside jokes which i'm gonna get one more on that and indecisive i know my inability to make a decision hurts you okay and that is what i got for the all signs portion let's see who you're actually dealing with beginning middle and end of the month and overall let's see okay let's see all right spirit who could leo be dealing with the beginning of the month capricorn and Leo, that could be you or another Leo, beginning of the month. Okay, middle of the month for Leo. You got Sagittarius and Virgo. What about the end of the month for Leo? Pisces and Aries. And overall, for the whole month, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio overall the whole month. Beginning of the month is Capricorn. Leo, you or another Leo or both. Um, Sagittarius Virgo for the middle of the month end of the month Pisces Aries Sun Moon rising um, Venus placements okay all right let's see let me need some guidance honey I gotta get out of here it's been a long one happy birthday <laughs> many blessings to you take care of yourself if you are not going through this but somebody else is and you're giving support be supportive while they go through this if you are going through this this happened to you I'm sending you all my love okay if you did this to somebody else cross watcher I feel for you I'm sending you all my love okay Give me some guidance, please, for Leo regarding this reading. Leo, please. Okay, we got heart and love, number eight. So, August, eighth month, or eighth house. So, August is Leo Virgo, eighth house is Scorpio. And, okay, we also got peace, harmony, number 12. Could be December, so that would be Sagittarius Capricorn, or it could be March. So that'd be Aries Pisces. Then you also got angel numbers confirmation. Number 14 could be um, the fifth month, right? Uh, May. So that would be Aries Taurus. Okay. Let me see real quick. I'm going to hurry up because my time might run out on this video. Eight and says... Okay, um, hearts are a universal symbol of love. The heart balloon is a representation of this high vibrational energy floating up, up, up. This, this is that feeling of being so filled with love that you float away into your own little world. This card can signify that love is entering your life or you are in a current state of bliss. You are floating on cloud nine and it's a beautiful thing. The reds and pinks also introduce elements and romance, passion, and flirtation. Although it often represents romantic love, a heart can symbolize platonic and familial relationships becoming stronger too. And don't forget about self-love. It can also be heightened at this time. The beautiful thing about this card is the freeing feeling that comes with being open to love and allowing it to guide you upward. Additional means is a new love interest, mutual attraction, relationships, relationship bliss, incorporate more romance in your life be open to love you are loved and peace i'm just going to read the other two but you know the additional meanings for it all right so this one means reconciliations and apologies enjoy people and activities that make you happy peaceful endings that bring new beginnings inspired by life and peace so there's peace that needs to be coming towards something or it starts off that way. And then at the end of the month of August, you got angel numbers confirmation, right? Someone's getting confirmation about something. It says there is no need to worry. Continue your path forward. You are a light worker. Trust your instincts. You are someone else, right? And your last message of guidance for Leo for the month of their birthday season, month of August though. What is going on? We got uh, the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini, or for somebody else it is, okay, regarding love, okay, and we got, okay, look at the peace and harmony, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius, okay, and end of the month, we got um, balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. All right, and that is what I got for you, Leo. Happy birthday. Many blessings to you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit all notifications. Take care of yourself. Um, and or Frostwater, whomever this is happening to. Um, be good. And um, check out my Patreon channel as well. And if you want to read me, my email's below. I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.